Who wants to hear about a cold weather little gem from the House of Dua? If you want to hear it, people, stay tuned. What's good, YouTube? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Right, my name is Michael, Mike, Mikey Cologne. Um, and if you're watching this, I appreciate your time. I won't keep you too long because I know everybody's got busy lives. I just want to talk to you about a little inspired by a fragrance today. And it is coming from the House of Dua. And this fragrance is a beast. I mean, this thing is a certified cold weather beast. This is called Exclusive Royal Chariot. You see that? All Dua bottles have like a Pacific design on them and they do look great. I've got a few Dua fragrances and when you've got them standing side by side like that on a shelf, like tiny little books or whatever you want to call it, they really do look good. Well, to me they do anyway. This is an inspired by fragrance of Perfumes de Mali Latent Exclusive. I have tried that fragrance, I've sampled that fragrance, and I sampled it at the end of last year, I believe. And if you know Perfumes de Mali, the exclusive range can be a little bit pricey, and at that time, I just didn't have the coin to get a full bottle. So what I've done is, I heard about Dua fragrances, I had a look on their website and I found this. And I've these are 30 mil bottles and I've literally only worn about three mil maybe. I've probably had, even though I've had this nearly a year, I've probably only worn this five or six times. But let me tell you something, people, you do not need a lot of sprays with this fragrance. You really, really don't. This is a potent beast. Right, Dua fragrances, are, I think they're all extractor per firm, so higher oil concentration. And like I said, these come in 30 ml bottles. I'm gonna read you the notes and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what I get. And there was quite a lot of notes in this fragrance, so I did write them down, so I'm gonna read them to you. You've got almond, mandarin orange, bergamot, civet, Geranium, rose, gardenia, water lily. You have Loatian or yeah, Loatian oud, guyacwood, vanilla, coffee, sandalwood, Indonesian patchouli, oak moss, pink pepper, and amber. Right. So, by the sound of that note breakdown, I think you already know that this is a little bit of a complex fragrance. But let me tell you something. This opens up sweet. This opens up a little bit fresh. This opens up a little bit oody. It's a little bit animalic from that civet. It's just such a gorgeous fragrance. Like I say, on the opening, you can, you can detect that mandarin orange and that bergamot. Just in, it's just giving that oud a little bit of freshness and a little bit of sweetness. And then you can detect that almond in there. I, oh, I, even though I haven't hardly worn this, I do love this fragrance. To me, this fragrance is for special occasions. It really is. But anyway, I'll get back to what I get. Sorry, I'm uh, losing myself here. I'm just getting excited a little bit. So yeah, so, and then you've got the oud in there. It goes a little bit animalic from that civet that you get. But it ain't in a bad way. It really ain't. Everything, this is a complex fragrance, but everything is blended so smoothly in this Dua inspired by fragrance. I, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. But this, to me, is a near on identical, spot on, inspired by fragrance of latent exclusive. Because like I say, I did sample it last year and then I bought this. You start getting, after probably a couple of hours, that vanilla and coffee sort of show its face a little bit. Just in the background, to me, in this fragrance, Oud is one of the main players. It really is. But where you've got them other sweet notes in it, it's not pungent Oud or it's not 
skanky. It's just so well-rounded. It really is. It's just like a sweety freshness oud with almond and then that you've got that little bit of coffee and then later on in the dry down it does go more vanillic and ambery ambery but the whole way through the fragrance it's a little bit smoky i can detect incense in there this thing is a cold weather stunner it really is and i only wear this on special occasions that's why i ain't worn a lot and when you do wear this, you will need two to three sprays max. I mean, this thing will fill a room. This thing will fill a room. I don't know what's going on in my words today, people. I just cannot speak. It is potent. Right. When I wear this, I'll probably wear four sprays. And for four hours, you're going to get great projection. You really are. I will show you the atomizer on this in a minute. But let me just tell you about the projection longevity. Four hours of solid projection. I mean, more than arm's length. Like I say, this will fill a room. It really will. People will notice you. If you're standing in a, a little bit of a crowd and there's another crowd standing next to you, they are going to detect this in the air. Guaranteed. Probably, and then it draws in a little bit after that four hour mark, but not a lot. It's still projecting. Probably the seventh, eighth hour mark on me then it starts to sit quite closer to the skin, probably about a foot scent bubble. And then I can detect this on my skin until I wash it off. So to me, on my skin, this is a 10 hour plus fragrance. It really, really is. I will show you the atomizer. Look, they're just short, short, wide distribution. Look at that filling the air. Oh, it's just... This whole landing is going to stink of Royal Chariot or exclusive Royal Chariot for the next couple of days, which ain't a bad thing. But anyway, people, I just wanted to talk to you about this a little bit. When I picked this up last year, I picked up quite a few of these Dua fragrances. And this week, I'm probably going to talk about a couple here and there. But... They were £40 when I picked these up. I've just had a look on their website and they're £60. I mean, I don't know if I've gone on the wrong website, which I don't believe I have, but they've shot up by £20 a bottle. So I don't know what that's all about. I really don't. But on another thing, the longer you let these sit, the more they macerate. So these have been sitting for nearly a year and this was strong when I got it. Now it's just a little bit more stronger. But anyway, people, let me know what you think about Dua fragrances. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know if you've tried any from their brand. Like I say, I'm going to talk about a few more Duas. Um, they are definitely worth their money. They're, I know they're 30ml bottles, but I'm telling you, you do not need a lot of sprays. So if you put that into consideration... You are getting your money's worth. I'm not getting paid to do this video. They don't even know. They don't even know that I exist. Do or don't, because I've just started this channel. But I just want to talk to you about these fragrances because I really do think they're great pickups. But remember, people, smelling good is always a pleasure and never a chore. I will see you on the next one.